Hey YouTube, this is a review of the 2013 Brood X. Just going to go over some of the features on this bow. This bow is a single cam compound bow. It is adjustable from 55 pounds to 75 pounds. Very nice bow. I got this bow off eBay for 570 bucks. I bought it from America. I'm in Australia. So in Australia they're around 800 bucks. So I got it pretty cheap. Very nice. Got it in skull works. Came with a five pin sight. As you can see, it comes with it's got a spirit level on there too. I've got one adjusted to, I've got one sided in at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 meters. The peep sight was installed, so was the D loop. This bow shoots pretty fast, shoots around 320, well, that's its IBA rating, 320 feet per second. Came with a, that's the arrow rest that it came with, pretty nice. The stabilizer, it's just a rubber one. Yeah. There's a cam, I'll show you how you how you adjust your draw length soon. I recommend getting bowstring waxed. Wax your string a lot, not too much, but if you don't wax them, the string's gonna fray up and it's gonna go all funny. And I recommend replacing. I recommend getting this bow, this bow is awesome. I recommend placing the string every year. You don't have to, depends how much you shoot it. Around 5,000 5, shots and replace it. This bow came with, off it, I got it, came with six arrows. Victory V-Force arrows. Blazer veins. I've only got four of them now. Most of them have snapped. I've shot them at things and they've hit stuff. I lost them. This one snapped at the knock. I hit the other arrow when I was target practicing. I had to cut it down and that's why it's a lot shorter than the others. Came with a five arrow quiver. It's alright, not the best, but it'll do. When you're adjusting the draw length, all you do, this is your draw stop here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. A is the longest setting, K is the shortest. Pretty sure it's adjusted to 25 inch to, what is it, 25 inch to 31, or something like that. So all you do, there's a little Allen key Arrow. There's a little Allen key in there, hot thingy. Just say mine's set at 28 inches and a half now. If I wanted to adjust it to 30, I would unscrew this, move it up there, bring that thing there, that round thing, all the way up there to A, screw him back in, and then this is your draw length. That's your draw stop, this is your draw length. See the little red thing here? One screw here and the other screw is the other screw is underneath the limb. You can't see it. Just sitting underneath there. You got these letters here. A B C D G F G A B C D E F G H I J K. There's a little pin as if you can see it, it's in F. You gotta have that exactly the same with your draw stop. See F and F. So if you're adjusting it to 30, you can move this to A, unscrew this, unscrew them full two, two full turns to unscrew them. If you can't get to that other one, grab the cable, cam rotates, and then you unscrew it, move it around, put the pin in A, that little pin that's in there, right there, move that to A, tighten it back up, 
I'm ready to go. I suppose it's nice. Let's see. To adjust the weight. What you do? These are adjustable ten full turns from the bottom. The limp pockets. Mine set it around oh, I'd say sixty something pounds. It's pretty good, it's alright for me. I don't get tired shooting it even if I shoot heaps. So it's at a good top it's at a good weight. And you've got to make sure you adjust each each one the exactly the same. So you do one turn, go to the next one, do one turn, next one, and so on. Because if you don't, if you put just say you do two turns less two turns two turns more on that one than that one, one of these cables will be holding more a lot more weight than it should be. And it might affect your shooting, I'm not sure. But yeah. comes with hush kit, it's got two of them, or three, you got one on the limbs here, these just dampen the sound, and you got one on this side, and you got a little one on the cable slide, just there, the, the sight, this ring here, is glow in the dark, when it goes in the dark it lights up, you can get a little light that screws in that little hole there, so you can see pins, later on I'm going to get a peep sight, a glow in the dark peep sight, I want to shoot rabbits and shit at night and that mainly got this bow for shooting goats yeah hopefully I can get a few results and shows it shows them they got the broadheads that I got got them off eBay 20 bucks for six used one of them, that's just some red zone, these are rage broadheads, I love it, they're mad, <laughs> what happens is you shoot them, they go in time, they open up, and they, then they got a two inch cutting diameter, fucking awesome, search these up on YouTube, rage broadhead results, and trust me, you will buy them. They're the best. Anyways. Yes. This bow is really shock free. The last bows I've had have only been cheap shit, cheap ones that have real little freaking there's real little wheels on them. They vibrate like hell. This is shock free, has like zero vibrate. I love it, it's real smooth shooting, it's fast. I'll be doing a shooting test with it when I get my new tree release because the last one I got was an Apex one. It was going alright for a few few weeks. I've had this back for two weeks now. Yeah. I just got a cheap trick release, it was only 35 bucks, so I wanted to get it so I could get out and shoot this thing. I didn't regret shooting it either, it's the best. Anyways, the other day I was pulling the trigger release back, click, it comes off, I hit myself in the jaw. Drew Leaf snaps. That's how shit it is. I'm gonna get a new one soon. I've ordered it. When it comes, I'll be doing a shooting test. Shows how she goes. I'll be shooting from 10 every. I'll be shooting from 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, and 50 meters. Just so you can see how she how it goes from long distance and that. If you're gonna get a bow. You don't want two flash, but alright, I recommend getting this. Once you shoot it, it's nice and everything, but once you shoot it, it just feels that good. With the wrestling on here, I always use it, just in case you drop the bow or anything happens. It's always good to use it. I'm going to draw it back, just to show you. It's got 75% lead off. It's alright. Yeah, I'm going to draw it back, just so you can see. And if you're drawing it back with your fingers, make sure you keep your fingers straight while you're letting it in. Because if you torque it, it can come off the wheel, off the cams, and it can de-string your bow. So, be careful when you do that. Okay, so this is 60-something pounds. It's not too late. 
Welcome back to the That nice lead off, 75%. Just sits there. Never grip the, never grip the bone in your shoe. Always hold it like that if you grip it. See what happens when you grip it? Turn it to the left. So you just sit it in your hand like that and you'll shoot straight. like the review. I need to keep watching and I know, keep tuned and I'll have a shooting test of the PC Brut X 2013 in about a couple of weeks or so. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please rate, comment and subscribe.